Hello everyone and welcome. In this tutorial we are going to create a simple yet powerful joystick system for our mobile devices. So without any further to do, let's go and create it. For a start, let's just create a canvas and then create a empty rec transform as our joystick body. Then create two UI images as our joystick frame and joystick center ball. We will complete these steps by dragging and dropping the image into corresponding fields. Now that we have our joystick visual set up, let's just create the C -sharp script to make our joystick working. Because we are going to use pointer event data, make sure to add UnityEngine.event system in the header of your money behavior. Now let's inherit the corresponding functions which are iPointer down handler, iPointer up handler, and iDrag handler. After implementing our core functions, let's just declare our variables. Now on the start method, let's get access to the canvas and then ensure that the joystick frame and joystick ball pivots are always positioned in center. After that, let's call on drag in the iPointer down method to call the main logic which is determining if player is touching our joystick. The main logic is very simple, where we are making our joystick intractable by firstly extracting canvas camera and then creating our position logic using rec transform utility dot world into screen point. Then making our radius using joystick frame size delta and finally normalizing the input value. By equalizing horizontal and vertical outputs to input value dot x and input value dot y respectively, we will have a fully functional joystick. By filling the public fields with corresponding dependencies, let's test our joystick. As you can see, our joystick is working perfectly, but we are missing something. Let's implement a recenter function for our joystick ball, so whenever the player releases the joystick, the ball will recenter and values will reset to zero. We are doing this by creating an enum and checking if the behavior is set to auto center, then setting the ball anchored position to vector 2.0 inside on pointer up function. Our recenter function is working, but there's another problem. The output values are not resetting after releasing the joystick ball. It's an easy fix. By checking if joystick is not pressed and behavior absolutely equals to auto center, then resetting input value to zero using this line of code inside update method. Ok, as you can see now the output values also reset to zero after releasing the joystick. Now that we have a fully working joystick, let's add more features to it. The first feature is Axis Lock, which will make our joystick to work only on a specified axis. The other feature is Inverted Values, which will invert the value of an specified axis. For the axis lock logic, we want to simply make the opposite axis value to zero just like this. So if axis mode.x only, then input value equals new vector2, input value.x and zero for the y, and the vice versa version for the axis mode.y only. And finally for the inverted values logic, we want to simply put a minus behind each input value. And that's it. Now our joystick is fully functional and working perfectly. Okay, that's it. Let's just see an example of usage of this joystick. In this example, I'm trying to use our joystick to orbit the cinemaching camera around the player. To do so, we want to access the joystick script that we made and then using horizontal and vertical outputs that we implemented. Something like this. You can use these outputs from any other scripts and make your logic to run within this joystick. 
Alright everyone, that's it for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you didn't and stay tuned for more videos. So until the next one, cheers!